This is Beth, aka Grammy on the Trail. Those of us who are starting to mountain bike as older adults will need to do a bit of remedial work to gain the necessary skills. Today I'm going to work on weight distribution, balancing on the bike, and riding over stuff. Many beginning bicycle riders complain that their seat is hurting. Perhaps that is because they're spending too much time sitting on it. Bicycle seats are built for performance and not so much for comfort. Cruising around on paved bike paths, I used to rest most of my weight on my seat. I also leaned forward and let my hands support my upper body. That was okay for a while, but soon my seat and my hands started to hurt. I have arthritis in my thumbs and I was having a lot of pain after riding. And riding like this is not good form for mountain biking. Here's what I try to do now. I use my body weight to help me generate power and speed by standing rather than sitting. Standing up to pedal feels very different from sitting down and your legs will tire more quickly until you get used to it. You will be able to push a bigger gear when standing, so shift up when you try this. Practice riding around the neighborhood or a local park while standing on your bike. For an extra challenge, practice shifting and braking while you're standing. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll feel. You may also want to do some off-bike exercises to build up your quads. Google to find some exercise instructions. For inspiration, channel Gloria Estefan. Get on your feet, get up and make it happen. Find a neighborhood hill where you can practice moving your weight forward and back when you go up and down. Okay, go back again. This right, hill is not very tall, but it extends quite away from side to side and varies in steepness back, over its again. length. I can start practicing where it is less steep and work my way up to harder angles. When I'm going up, I need to lean forward to maintain weight over my front wheel. Otherwise, I might do a surprise wheelie. Conversely, when descending, it's important to move my weight back over my rear wheel to avoid an over-the-bars or OTB event. When negotiating steep uphills and downhills, standing helps maintain proper balance. Having my weight on the pedals lowers my center of gravity and makes the bike more stable. I could go down steeper parts of the hill than I could go up. I reduced the steepness by descending at a slight angle at first and gradually worked my way to going down straight. You can improve your side to side balance by practicing going slowly or even stopping without putting your feet down. This latter move is called a track stand and has its origins in bicycle track racing. You may have noticed road riders using this technique at traffic lights or stop signs. Track stands come in handy on the trail by giving you a few seconds to think about what your next move will be. It's also much easier and faster to get started when your feet are already on the pedals. Obviously, I need a lot more practice doing this. When you're mountain biking, you'll find yourself running over stuff. Rocks, water bars, cattle grates, etc. You can easily find features in your local park to practice on. Curbs are ideal. I'm pushing down on my handlebars right before I go up the curb. This causes the fork to compress and then to rebound, making my front wheel lighter. I'm still working on getting the front wheel to come up off the ground. Watch that you don't hit your pedals when you go over. On this curb, I have barely enough clearance for my pedals, but on some obstacles you won't. Time your pedal stroke appropriately easier said than done, or have enough momentum that you can pause pedaling for a second and make it over the obstacle. And now go over it again. Notice how I'm keeping my pedals flat here to avoid the possibility of a pedal strike. 
session or repeat the obstacle until it feels like no big deal. This will increase your confidence on similar bumps on the trail. Here I'm trying to clear the curb going slowly. I lost my balance on the first try, but the second one was successful. These steps are a great place to practice ups and downs. Notice that the edge of the step has been beveled, lessening the impact. Going faster actually makes it easier. Practice going up and down at varying speeds. Down, go slowly this time, go slowly down. Okay, one more up and the next. Okay, just real slowly down and we'll call it good. Okay. Practice is key. Find a friendly spot in your neighborhood and go out for 30 or 60 minutes at a time. Stop when you get tired. Keep going if you're making great progress that day. I'm not an expert on technique and I would advise you to look around the internet for blogs and videos on MTV skills. Shoot some video of yourself practicing. Compare how you look to the folks in the instructional videos. You can probably spot what you're doing wrong. Thanks for watching. Please hit like below. Follow my learning to ride experience by subscribing to my channel. This has been Beth, AKA Grammy on the Trail, reminding you to get on your feet and stay young.